in this session i am going to solve one more k map equation and that is uh, available in the unit 4 of a uh, question bank i am going to go to the question number 13 of uh, unit 4 and in the question number 13 i will select the question f h here and this question uh, has so many min terms as well as uh, there is a don't care condition. So let us try to reduce this equation and finally draw the logic diagram for the reduced equation. I am going to switch to the PowerPoint here and uh, I have copied the min terms which are given in the question there as well as the don't care condition. Now because there are four variables are there, you have to create a K map for four variables. I am going to take uh, AB along uh, this side. So AB will be taken along this side and uh, the variable CD will be taken along this side. So I have uh, AB and CD and as you are aware, we are going to use the equation, uh, uh, we are going to use the value 0, 0, AB 0, 0 and CD 0, 0 and 0, 1, 1, 0. You know very well these two columns has to be interchanged and these two columns has to be interchanged. Generally we write 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0 and 1, 1 because we want the only one of the bit to be changed between the adjacent rows or columns we are writing 0 1 and 1 1 so if you notice over here among this only one bit is changing suppose if you bring this one here then two bits will change so that is what we don't want to happen and same thing is true over here and we will write the binary equivalent of um, these values 0 0 0 0 0 0 that means all 0 is 0 0 0 0 0 1 2 to the power you start with the first value 2 to the power 0 and then you have uh, 1 then we have uh, this is 2 to the power 0 and 2 to the power 1 so that is uh, 2 plus 1 2 to the power 0 is uh, 1 and uh, 2 to the power 1 is 2 so 1 plus 2 is going to be 3 here and uh, this is going to be 2 to the power 2 alone so 2 to the power 2 I mean 2 to the power 0 and 2 to the power 1 this value is just 2 here. So you write this one. I have already explained this one in the previous video. You can refer them. I am going to simply map the values. So first thing you are going to draw the K map and you are going to construct this one. Remember constructing the K map itself carries marks in the examination. So even if you just construct this map and uh, put the min terms at the proper location you are going to get some marks even if you have not solved the full problem you will get some marks for uh, writing this now i am going to put the min terms here so wherever the values are there so one you will uh, go to m1 and mark the min term as one three you will go to m3 that is min term and mark it and uh, four you will mark it as 1. All the min terms are marked as 1. 6, you have uh, the values of 6 here and that uh, is marked as 1. And you have 8 here which is marked as 1. And you have 9. So just look at the min term value and mark them as 1. And uh, finally you have this uh, 11 in this row. Mark them. And 13 mark the min terms for the corresponding value of the min term and 15 <clears throat> and you are going to map them. 
remaining all are zero now they have uh, specified one more condition and this one more condition is the don't care condition what is the meaning of saying don't care condition is don't care can be either one or zero depending upon the situation suppose you can make a pair by combining the don't care then take it as one suppose it's not possible to form a group out of the don't care condition then leave it as a zero the don't care is generally marked as x or some people mark it as dash so you can some people mark it as x and some other people just mark it as dash but it is marked as not one or zero okay so let's look at the values for the don't care so first is m0 you put x here indicating this is a don't care condition then you put 2 here so you go to the m2 here and mark it as don't care and 14 you have this 14 here m14 you marked as x so you have marked this for this you are going to get the marks during the examination now let's go ahead and then try to form the groups now now you notice that uh, we always go with the highest value that is uh, 2 to the power 8 we go for 2 to the power 4 i mean which is 16 2 to the power 4 is 16 that means you will try to cover the whole thing which is generally not available then the next possible value is 2 to the power 3 which is um, octal you know very well 2 to the power 3 is 8 here you try to form the 8 here now you cannot form 8 here because uh, you notice that this uh, is not uh, 0 so 8 is ruled out now you are left with uh, only 2 to the power 2 so 2 to the power 4 not possible 2 to the power 3 not possible 2 to the power 2 which is 4 try to go for the quad so can we form the quad obviously you notice that uh, there is uh, 4 which is available over here and we can try to pair them together so let's try to uh, group them and uh, let's try to form the reduced equation for this one so we will start with the m9 so as i have already told you i will write it in this order so first the bottom one m9 m13 m15 and uh, m11 so m9 and m13 among this you look at uh, these values now among this these two what is changing so if you look at this side a remains constant whereas b is changing so drop the b and retain a here now let's look at uh, the other two values so you can take this or this so along this what is changing so 13 and 15 what is changing so if you notice over here among this c dash and c it is changing so drop them and what is left over is d so you get a d here let's go to the next one and uh, the next uh, obvious one is uh, this you notice uh, here this is don't care this is don't care remember don't care can be either zero or one now suppose if i make this uh, don't care as uh, zero then i am not uh, getting any benefit out of it but what if uh, i consider this don't care as one remember don't care can be either zero or one depending upon the situation so if the situation is favoring you make consider the value as one if the situation is not favoring you consider the value as zero now if i consider this as one if i consider this as one and this as one remember they are all don't care so either zero or one anyone is uh, valid there that is why we call it as don't care condition so it can be either zero or one but if you consider that as one what's the advantage if you consider this as one you notice that you can form one more quad 
so that is uh, what is required so i consider the don't care at this point and don't care at this point as one so let me try to group them together so what i have here is uh, a group that is gen actually if these two were there so you would have made a pair out of this but because there are two don't care conditions are there if you combine the don't care condition and treat them as one you can form a quad so whenever you get this situation either you have a, like this or like this straight uh, along the row or along the column so remember if you get it along the row along the row like this forget these variables this will vanish you don't need to check them they are going to vanish what is left over is these two variables okay suppose if you get uh, this kind of uh, situation where you fill a column along the column you have all the values assume that it is there now this is not uh, possible but if you assume that if you get a column a uh, y squared in that case uh, forget this value you don't need to check them which is changing which is not changing this will vanish you will be left over with the other okay so in the examination it is much easier so when you get this kind of along the row if you get it take the values along the row itself so this is what you have okay so you have a dash b dash along this row a dash b dash you have this a dash b dash over here and uh, let's look at uh, the other situation what we can do from the remaining now if you look at uh, the values over here you can form a one more quad remember you we cannot form a octal here which is not possible so octet or uh, octet is uh, ruled out we can go for a quad only now now there are two situation you, if you pair them look at here you if you think that i can pair this i can pair this that you are going to pair it but what if uh, if you combine these two together you form a quad you form a quad look at here so that's a benefit of uh, having don't care condition now if you treat this one as one treat this as one you notice that you can form a quad along here as along um, here so why do we have to go for the quad remember in the last video also i told you if you <coughs> take the quad <coughs> two variables uh, uh, will vanish if you form a pair one variable will vanish we are there to reduce the equation so we want to reduce as much variable as possible so instead of making a, if you have done a pair out of this from here on the from here if you made a pair then you would have lost only one variable but if you make a, <coughs> the uh, where is that quad here two variables will vanish that means you are able to reduce it further so this is what we want so let's go ahead and let's try to form the quad and you will notice that uh, you can also form in the same way uh, if you look at here you can form a pair from here and here you can combine them this with the other but uh, that will make a pair instead of that you can also form a quad from here and from here so if you form a quad you are reducing more so that is what we want so let's try to uh, build the equations one after the other so first i will treat um, this side pair so you notice that uh, if i treat this one as one if i treat this one as one if i treat this one as one then i can form a quad combining these two and combining these two now try to solve the equation again i am going to write uh, the values in this order so i start from here and then i write like this so i am going to say m4 m0 m2 m6 
So this is what I have written. Now let's try to look at uh, these two values first. So among these two, what is changing? You notice that B and B dash is changing. What is left over is A dash. Now taking these two values, extreme values. So among these two, what is changing? You notice that D is remaining, sorry, the D is remaining constant, whereas C dash and the C are changing. So left over is D dash. So you have a A dash D dash or A bar B D bar. It's one and the same. <coughs> Let's look at uh, the other one which I've already told you. I'm going to uh, form a quad by combining these two and these two. Now you notice that uh, this, if you treat this one as one, then you can form a quad. So we are all familiar with that. Now once you do this one, let's try to reduce this equation. Again, I'm going to write it in this order, m8, m0, m1, m9. So this is how I have written it. Let's try to reduce the equation. So I'm going to take this value. Remember you are here and you are here. So let's try to take this and these two combine this and this two. What you notice that um, A and A, A bar and A is changing. Leftover is B bar. So you write B bar. Now let's try to uh, take uh, the other two one along this. So what is changing? So you notice that uh, D bar and D is changing. Leftover is um, C bar. Once that is done, you have solved uh, all now some of you may be thinking okay what about this one can't you treat it as uh, one remember if you treat it as uh, one you will not get uh, any benefit now you may say that no you can form a pair but that will add one additional term here something is going to come here we want to reduce it so we don't want extra terms to come Okay. Now, if you treat it as 1, you will get one extra term. So, if you get one extra term, are you calling it as reduction? If you get extra, is it reduction? If you don't get a term, that means you have reduced it. So, by treating it as 0, you don't get any term. That means you have reduced it. So, unnecessarily, don't try to include the grouping. You are going for reduction. So, if it is favoring you, so in this case it is favoring, if you treat it as 0, it's going to favor you. So that's why assume that it is uh, 0. If you treat it as uh, 1 and if you say I'm going to pair it, you're going to get something A dash, B dash, something you are going to get. That means one extra term you got it. So you would have got the result by only firm four terms. That's actual reduction. If you treat it as 1, you are going to get uh, one more term over here. That means you are going to get 5 terms. Is it reduction? 4 is reduced. 5 is extra. So don't go for extra there. So let me write the final equation over here. And the final equation happens to be you take all of them, all the reduced terms over here. That is AD. This is product term. This is also product term. This is also product term and this is also product term. Add them together and that is what is uh, your final equation. Now I'm going to take this one and I'm going to go and uh, get the logical diagram for this. I'm going to just copy it and yesterday I've already uh, shown you the simulator. I'm going to go to the simulator here, project here and I'm going to say analyze the circuit. And uh, I will put the expression here. Just going to paste it here. Okay, it's done. Let me zoom in for you. And uh, we are supposed to put uh, the spaces. So here, okay, uh, a dash is treated as a tilde. So put the space and tilde. And let me take it uh, to the other side. Okay, and you have. Um, tilde A and that is A dash and uh, you have uh, tilde D which is D dash and then we have uh, B dash or 
B bar okay and then C bar okay let me say enter so you get uh, AD let me get it as AD okay that's uh, you have the terms proper terms a d is there a space uh, let me look at the input variable sorry i uh, when you create this one you need to slightly zoom in for you i think i have not given a name remember when, whenever you want something to be done uh, i think uh, the i need one more input here and this input is supposed to be d okay. let me make it as small because i've written everything in small letters so just uh, so it's going to lengthen the video but we put all as a small case. So A, B, C, D are the input. That's why it is saying that you don't have uh, the input with that uh, name. So it is whatever I have written is proper, but uh, it just says your inputs are uh, let me take this uh, project again. Analyze the circuit. Let's see. You have A, B, C, D. Okay, that's what we want. We want that input A, B, C, D, and you have to have uh, the output. This is required. Otherwise, it's not going to build the expression. Let me enter it, and then you have um, the equation A, D. Let me just compare it. I'm going to just compare it with my final equation over here. Let me make it as full screen, and then let me bring it here just to make the comparison so i will zoom in for you so you've noticed that uh, ad ad is there ad is there a bar b bar is there a bar d bar is there and b bar c bar is there okay that's it i'm going to uh, just say build the circuit it's going to say let me say okay 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 and my circuit is built okay so if you look at uh, the circuit let me go and show the circuit for you so if you look at uh, the circuit over here and this is what uh, you are going to get it's likely i'm going to bring it down okay this is your circuit you start with ad so a and d you bring them together a and d combined with the and gate a bar b bar so you take the a and make it as a bar remember in the examination you can if you are taking the a bar again from here only you can tap it rather than tapping it from the other side and also during the examination as i've told you make a jump do not cross the wires like this so you have studied it in your physics either do like this so if the wires are moving like this make a if the wires are moving like this make a jump like this or if the wire is moving like this make a jump like this so that you know that they are not touching each other okay so let's start with the a and d a and d combined together okay then you have a bar b bar so a passed to not get then it becomes a bar and b is passed to a not get so it becomes a b bar and combine them let's go for a bar d bar now you start from a and a bar now instead of that you can directly tap from here in the examination that's going to save your time so instead of starting from here you can tap from here and then directly give the output so there is no need for writing this one because you already have a bar here so you have the a bar at this junction take the tap directly from there that way you will be able to reduce the time in drawing the not gate 
so unnecessarily you will be drawing something extra but this is generated by the simulator so i have no control over it if this is correct that one is also correct both are correct but there you have a, a time saving you can save the time during the examination so let's go with the a bar here so you have the a bar and then d bar so you start with the d pass it to a not gate then this becomes d bar give it this finally you have a b bar here now if you notice that b bar was already created from here only you can tap it but uh, in the simulator it just takes from the b you generate b bar and give it to this from the c you generate c bar and give it to them and combine all these uh, and gate individual min terms combine them together with the or gate and then you have the answer for uh, if uh, problem now a good thing about this simulator is it's going to show you if you go to the last one it's going to show you the minimized term that is what we got it it's going to show the same thing that what we have got it so you can look at uh, here it's going to show you the same thing this is one pair this is the um, uh, this is one quad this is the other quad and finally the you have the four here and the full patch that you can see it over here that's all in this video thank you for your interest we will meet again in the next video thank you